Edge of Generative AI Insights by McKinsey ถอดรหัส Generative AI ในศตวรรษใหม่ Vinayak HV Senior Partner and Leader of McKinsey Digital in Asia Pacific So let me get started with uh, a little bit of quiz uh, to all of you. Which is, I think I can see most of the audience. t h i s bright lights, but uh, I just want to get uh, uh, two pictures so to give you a sense of what is the art of the possible. Uh, two pictures of quite cute uh, kids, I might say. And my question to you is very simple: Which of you think that the left-hand side picture was created by generative AI? You want to raise your hands? Who thinks the left-hand side picture is created by generative AI? Who do you think the right-hand side picture is created by generative AI? So the folks who said the right-hand side, congratulations! You are very good at detecting what is generative AI versus what is uh, this. Some clues. I don't know whether you picked it up, but if you look at the hands, you can see that the hands are not very perfect. Uh, but that gives you some. But also at the same time, what you can see is that the power of this technology. The power of this technology can actually create quite human-like images and human-like art. We are very early. We are still discovering what is the power of this technology, and this is only about a year old. Now, I want to draw your attention to the pace at which technology is moving, which is this is 1950s to 2020s. The one uh, thing to keep in mind is that you know when do machines start reaching human-level performance? So this is the benchmarking which is done through Dynabench, which is a subsidiary of Meta, and zero, the y-axis over here, is essentially saying when does a machine start to reach human-level performance? Zero is when you get to human-level performance. The x-axis is the time. Now, what's interesting over here is if you look at a variety of different tasks: handwriting recognition, speech recognition, image recognition, reading, understanding language. The time it is taking. To get to human-level performance is becoming shorter and shorter and shorter. And now we are a technology where essentially we can get to human-level performance very, very fast. Now this all is pre-2022, and 2023 is essentially a year where we have seen an explosion of what's happening in generative AI. So a few things to remember. One, again, it's a little bit of a complicated slide, but if you look at the y-axis. This is the time spent on work today. The x-axis is time scale. The light gray lines is what our estimate was in terms of what is the percentage of activities that can be automated by technologies that exist today. So you don't need to invent anything new. It can be automated based on technologies that exist today. And the two blue lines was what we updated based on generative AI. I think the simple message is 60 to 70 percent of work activity. Can be automated. 60 to 70 percent of work activity can be automated by technology that exists today. We don't need to invent anything. Now, if we were to realize some proportion of this potential, our estimate, and you can read the report. I would encourage all of you to read the economic potential of generative AI. But to give you the answer to the big question, it's about 2.6 to 4.4 trillion dollars. That is the economic potential to the global GDP. And if you think about that in the context of Thailand. This is five to eight times Thailand's economy, so you can add five to eight times the equivalent of economic output of Thailand as a result of this technology. This is true across industries. So it's true in retail. You could add about 240 to 300 billion. It's true in banking, 200 to 340 billion. It's true in life sciences, where through generative AI we can crack really complex problems such as protein synthesis, the discovery of new drugs. One. Is this is a technology which can be very powerful and can be beneficial to all of us and society. And I'll leave you with one last quote, which is Albert Einstein. This is a technology in its early days, and what will help us realize the potential is imagination. And imagination is much more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited, but imagination encircles the world.